down, but it doesn't. Hello and happy Wednesday. Do you want to come over here? Happy Wellness Wednesday, you guys. I'm going to have to start this one over because I don't think it's going live. We are super excited to see you guys tonight. And um, we have a special guest, um, Arlene Pineda. Bin Did I say it right? Yeah. I was honestly Pineda. Bin Pineda. Bin Pineda. Um, she is a uh, makeup artist and she's going to be talking with you guys and sharing um, all this amazing stuff. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get us live over here. If not, I'm going to give up on it. Ready? Hold on. Two seconds, everybody. Live. We'll just go. Okay. It's going over here. All right. Thanks for being patient. So um, Arlene is, I'm going to introduce her one more time, you guys. Thanks for joining us live. We have a special makeup artist, awesome Arlene, with us tonight, and she is going to tell us what you're going to do tonight. Um, I'm just going to talk about skincare before makeup. Um before applying your makeup, and then I'm just gonna apply uh, Mary's foundation and just talk about it and give some tips. Yeah, what's up? We've got Kimberly out there and Jackie. What's up? And Evie, are you guys excited to see? So just so you know, behind the scenes, Arlene has been doing my makeup for a lot of my videos and different things. That's why all of a sudden I have red lips out of nowhere, I'm trying to be sexy like awesome Arlene over here. So um, she's been doing my hair and makeup and she needs to share these beautiful gifts with you guys. And so for all of the month of March, we're focusing on a makeover March. And um, it all, you know, it's so nice when we get to fix ourselves up a little bit, especially during quarantine when we feel kind of like we just wear sweatpants all day and don't brush our hair. So, <laughs> so special people like Arlene with their gifts can help us feel prettier and better so we feel nice at home. So let's get started. She's gonna go ahead and um, and talk to you while I shut up. How about that? How about Mary Fulton just be quiet? <laughs> so I'm gonna have a seat and I'm gonna tag my friends on here while you're talking to them. Okay. Um, hi everybody, like she said, my name's Arlene and so I just wanted to come on here and um, help Mary out with her channel. <laughs> you wanted to help me? What's wrong? Yeah, uh, we're gonna talk about um, skin prep before makeup. Um, a lot of times people just throw their foundation on and um, I think it's known that uh, to have better foundation application, you should always prep your skin. Um, first things first, you have to make sure you have a clean face. Um, always make sure that all your makeup residue is off of your face. And then um, next thing is uh, moisturizing. A lot of people don't moisturize, even if they're oily, they think that moisturizing is gonna make them more oily, but in the contrary, it doesn't. It actually, because there's no moisturizer on your face, um, your body, tries to produce more oil because it's lacking that moisture. Ooh, I didn't know that. So, um, is your face oily or? Dry? I would say I'm like medium. So, so, and I did put some lotion on before. Mary's um, combination skin probably like not too oily, not too dry. So I'm just gonna give a few um, products um, mm -hmm. that I use on my clients. And this is um, called Embrolease. It is um, kind of like a professional, Kind of a professional brand, but you can find it, I think, at Target. I'm not sure, but... Ooh, um, showing you right here, here. There's two. Okay. One is for... This one is just for, like, regular skin, and this one is for is matte, so it's for, like, people that have really, really oily skin. It, this is a really good product. It's actually used as a primer and a moisturizer. Okay. So, and it has um, a lot of... This was initially, when it started, it was a skincare line. Okay. So it's very good for your skin. To jump over here because I can't see it, right? <laughs> it's very good for your skin and um, it can also be used as a primer. Ooh. I also have these other two products that I use. I'll hold these up so you can see them. Um, right here. These are them in the notes. a little bit pricey, so I don't really uh, push on people to buy them because I think <laughs> I think they're kind of expensive. I probably wouldn't buy them, but um, actually it was a gift to me. Ooh. And it's uh, Tatcha. Uh, Tatcha. Tatcha, it's a, oh, Tatcha. They sell it at Sephora, but it's a, this is a primer, and it's like a pore filling primer, so it's kind of like a little bit of a putty, and uh, you apply it, and it feels like your pores. I use this pretty much on the daily, and this is the, uh, the Dewy Skin Cream. I'm showing you both. We're on Facebook and Instagram all at the same time. The Dewy Skin Cream is um, a moisturizer uh, primer that leaves your face dewy and glowy. Oh. A lot of people like that right now I it's like that's like the cool thing is to have glowy skin oh okay so um, not so much matte we're not so much dewy. matte anymore because um you look cakey you end up looking cakey that that means that you guys should work out more because when you're done working out you look dewy and glowing it's perfect 
um, I usually use, I used to be really, really oily, so I would do a lot of matte stuff, and then I started uh, changing my skincare, and I noticed mm -hmm. that my skin started changing, and it's not as um, oily anymore, but um, what the only thing I don't like about Dewy is that I feel like if I touch it or something, like it kind of comes off, but um, we're not even supposed to be touching our faces. Oh, <laughs> but touch um, your faces. But uh, maybe when you hug somebody, you don't want to be like, oh, you're so cute, and then like your makeup wipes yeah. off on them. Okay. But <laughs> I think that's a girl problem, and we all have that. Yeah. Um, don't do that, girls. Just don't do that. <laughs> so this is the Dewy Cream, which makes you look dewy, and it's um, ultra hydrating, it's anti-aging. It's um, These two are a Japanese brand. So, you know, they're very into skincare and so have really good products in them. Oh, awesome. So if you guys want to know more, maybe we'll put them in the chat box. We can always throw those in so you know. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, prep Mary's face. Just going to prep this face of mine. Good luck to you, Arlene. Uh, we're going to start with this. Usually I use either Rose Water or Fix Plus for MAC. I, um, I like Fix Plus a lot. It does a lot of things, but um, I like to apply it first to their face because it just gives like a little fresh start, you know? Mm. Um, this one is actually a, fra a fragrance one. Coconut. Ooh, I picked coconut. Yeah, I she, got she got this one. But um, <laughs> I any, of them, any of them work. And I have a matte one too, and I have a vitamin C one, and I have oh. the regular, regular So those one. are good. So they're called what? Oh, yeah. uh, Fix Plus. Fix Plus at MAC. You guys can get They those. do a lot of stuff. They do. Yeah. It, it goes on and on. But basically I like to, like, it's like a good little. You can also use um, rose. What is it? Water? Rose water, water yeah, mm -hmm. to start. Like, they always recommend to, like, spray your client down. Well, not your client, but you're going to do it to yourself. Just spray yes. yourself. And you'll feel, like, refreshed, you know? Like this. Just kidding. <laughs> it's because she did my hair. Okay. <laughs> oh, it smells good. And then you just kind of let that sit there for a little bit. Um, and just it'll soak up into the skin. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> it's okay. Poor Arlene. She has to deal with me all day long. <laughs> Today I'm going to use on Mary, I'm going to use the Embrolease. Ooh. I'm going to see if I brought my Ooh. palette. Actually, I'm just going to squeeze it out. It's fine. Okay. I wash my hands before. We're good. I trust you. I trust her. She's amazing at this. So what you do mostly is like actually rub it into your skin a lot of times. Actually, I put a pot here. Um, uh, a lot of times we we just kind of like brush, but I really like to rub the moisturizer into my skin. Do you guys want me to ship Arlene to your house? <laughs> She's on sale at MFF Shop. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> One billion dollars. <laughs> a lot of things um, that like make um, celebrity makeup artists do is like they give like a little face massage and they also use oh. these little like um, massagers it's like it's just like a lymphatic drainage thing I'm not really sure about it but like they um, massage the face right here because this is like where the cheekbone is so then it gives you kind of a little bit of a structure and then here I do this at night when I like wash my face I just you know so you have that little like, little jawline awesome I did not know these things so you guys have to start doing these massages before you go to bed <laughs> yeah I do it every night when I wash my face I oh. um, wash my face and then just like run your fingers like, so, this. like this and you can feel your jaw you'll feel yeah you'll feel yeah, your right jaw here. right here okay. one finger under and one finger on top and it kind of like keeps your you know your bone structure right here one, one's gonna go up uh, here, and okay. then like you're gonna slide it down. Then. Oh, got it. I figured it out. <laughs> Just took me a second. And then um, we're gonna start with her um, makeup application. What I'm using on her is the uh, this is fun. Nars Hi, Nars Semi Matte um, All Day Luminous Weight Loss Ooh. Weight Weightless Foundation. I really like this foundation. I use actually used to always use cheap foundation and then I we I use this for work a lot okay. and I had never really used it on myself and I used it on myself and I was like oh my god I freaking love this thing it is um lightweight and it covers if you have imperfections I have a lot of stuff on my face um so I always used to wear those heavy foundations okay. to cover like all my blemishes and stuff um but this one does the exact same thing and it doesn't feel heavy and I really really like it I really really recommend it it's a little bit expensive but um it looks really good on her skin too. I know you guys are watching us through the screen, but I see her every day, and her makeup always looks real smooth and really beautiful. Like she always looks. And it, good. it you can um, if you need to go 
darker, you can, um, like, I mean, if you need to more coverage, you can pack it on and it doesn't look like cakey. Like cakey? Yeah. Okay, like you've got tons of stuff on there. What's up, you guys? Hi, Sandy. Thank you. So good to see you. What's up, Big Diesel? You gonna, you gonna do makeup with us today? <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Are you guys excited to see the transformation? So we're only doing skincare today, and you have to come back next week for, do you remember what we're doing next week? I don't know. But next week we have another thing. <laughs> All of March. So it's March makeover. We're going to highlight lashes and eyebrows and all kinds of fun stuff. I think it's like, is that, I think bronzer or something? I think it's something. Okay. I, might okay. be I don't remember. Highlight. Maybe not. But today, skincare. So, she's, she's coming back. Minute. She just needs to, she's eating the cheeseburger. I'm like, right now? Right now, Arlene? I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I'm going to talk about the ways to apply makeup. Um, there's a few different ways, or different techniques, I guess. Oh, you came oh yes. She's saying a question. Can you read it? I'm blind. Can we? Can you read that? Can we do one on how to use? All the million brushes. <laughs> oh yes. So I'm gonna cool. actually talk about the brushes that oh. I'm gonna use on Mary or the options that there are. So I have a brush like this. It's a it's a foundation brush and it's very dense. So with this kind of brush, you um, stipple the makeup onto the skin, and you always you don't really want to swipe. You could still swipe, but you More the reason you want to dab is because you're pressing it into the skin and you want it to stay. You don't want it to like. It, a lot of times if you like swish it around too much you get streaks and oh. and that's why you want to um, like dab it yeah dab okay it. we're dabbing then there's this one which is more of a, <laughs> a brush like a you actually apply it like a kind of like like a paint brush? yeah like a paint brush and okay. I personally don't really use this one I used to use it a long time ago when I didn't know that much about makeup um, <laughs> but people some people like it some people use it I don't know I, it's not my preference because it will leave streaks and then you have to go in with something else. Okay. And then some people use something like this, which is like more of a fluffy brush. And you kind of can also like dab it in and swirl it and it gives okay. a little bit of more of an airbrush finish. Airbrush finish. And then there's also the beauty blender. Um, I like that. I use that now, but I don't know if I'm using it right. <laughs> the beauty blender um, should always be wet. Whenever you use a sponge, always make sure it's wet. Um, I didn't know the, that. <laughs> I don't really apply foundation with the beauty blender. I do apply um, concealer with the beauty blender, but I don't like because I guess for my preference because I have a lot of stuff on my face. I like to cover, so when I use a beauty blender, it shears a lot. This is if you want like a sheer fast application. So it's very since it's wet, it shears out the foundation that is on your skin. So okay. for if you want like a lighter weight application, a beauty blender is great. Um, yeah, you can either use, these are the three brushes and okay, the beauty cool. blender. So today I'm gonna um, yes. probably use two. I'm gonna use oh this one um, and it's um, it's from B. Delium and this, and a beauty blender probably. Okay. Do you remember when my sister's dog ate your beauty blender? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm going to be right back. I'm going to wet this and you can talk okay. to me. So while she's gone, uh, what have you questions? learned already? Tell me all the exciting things you have or any questions while she's wetting the beauty blender. Do you have a beauty blender at home? Yes? Give me a thumbs up if you got booty blenders. I mean beauty blenders. <laughs> I'm your booty bender. <laughs> I'm the one that's here to help you with the booty. She's helping you with the, the beauty. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're the two B's. Booty and beauty. Oh my gosh, that's a so funny. I love that one. What do you guys think? The the two big the big bees. <laughs> okay, Arlene's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Evie, what'd she say? I'm talk taking <laughs> I'm taking notes because I do cheap makeup. Oh good. And guess what? Just like we don't want to be cheap with our foods. We don't want to be cheap with our skincare either, right, Arlene? Right. Uh, Let's that, talk about that. That was me too, Evie. Don't worry. Um, for the longest, um, I was using cheap drugstore foundation, which there's nothing wrong with drugstore foundation. A lot of it is really good. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, but my boss, he was like, what do you mean you don't use NARS? Because that's the foundation we use for work. Um, and he was kind of like, 
you know you're getting older and like your face is important you shouldn't be cheap on that kind of mm -hmm. stuff and so then i tried it and actually really loved it so um i do see a difference between that and other products but i mean there is good drugstore and i'm always on a budget so she got famous I, on a TikTok. yep go check it out <laughs> Sixty thousand views. views. You know how many TikToks I do? I don't get sixty thousand views. And she just posted, I got a deal at CVS, and that's it. And she got sixty thousand views. <laughs> it was the trending product. Yes. No, I'm proud of her. Let's keep it going, Arlene. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna um, apply the foundation onto her face. Usually, when you want to match foundation, Mary, she's really red, and she looks whiter than when she really is. When I first did her makeup, I was like, ooh, I went too light on her. Um, I'm dark. She, yeah, she's pr really tan, and she actually uses like similar color to what I use, and I think I'm pretty brown. So I was kind of oh. confused when I saw her. I was like, hmm, hmm. So, um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not the only one. Whenever I get my makeup done, I feel like they always go really light on me, and I'm like, dude, you just washed all my color out. Okay, I'll be quiet now. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just uh, stippling on the product, and because I don't want like a heavy application on Mary, um, I'm going to stipple it on and then I'm probably going to go over it with a beauty blender. When you're, um, depending on your skin type, especially like if you're super young and you her, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Um, you can pretty much pull anything off. Cliff, give me that phone. Sorry. Did you just use it? No, it's just that my phone, if she okay. calls again, she's going to boot us out again. Go ahead, keep going. Um, <laughs> you can pretty much... Um, <laughs> put as much makeup as you want in your skin, you know, you, when you're young, your skin's flawless, but, um, as we get older, I feel like you want to look more natural. You want to look more like skin and, and not like, like cakey or, yeah, or, or show your wrinkles, the smile lines and all that stuff that's going to Yeah, because through. when you apply too much foundation or concealer, and usually I apply concealer to Mary, so that's another thing. Once you apply foundation... If you're gonna go back in with concealer, there's gonna be semi like another layer of makeup on there. So, um, so I'm just gonna apply and then probably go over with the beauty blender just to like sheer it out a little bit. Wait, I think Alicia jumped out. Alicia, did you save me? Tell tell Ruby not to call right now. We just need ten more minutes. <laughs> That's so funny. Thank God you saved me. Thank you, Alicia. Did she say sorry or something? Like I, that? Yeah, she's on there. I can't read everything, but I'm laughing. Ruby and Cliff are best friends, and so they call each other every night. But I have to tell her at four o'clock, don't call. <laughs> yeah. Are we doing concealer today too, or just the face? Um, I, I don't remember what you were gonna do. I was just gonna do foundation, but if you want me to do concealer, I don't know how long have we been on. We're good. She, we can. Do you guys want concealer too? <laughs> say yes. <laughs> She's making me pretty anyway. What does it say? I just, can you read that? What Alicia says? I can't read it. Uh, oh. I did. Cliff said he called Ruby. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Oh, oh Cliff called Ruby. Sorry. Sorry, Ruby. <laughs> Hi, Johan. What's up, Johan? Do you want to get your makeup done for your yoga classes? <laughs> And if you guys have questions, put them in the chat box and we will come back to those. Actually, Arlene's going to answer them for you um, since she's the makeup pro here. And Arlene, did you tell them that you do pageants? No. Oh. Oh. So Arlene does beauty pageants. So um, that's why she knows so much about all this fun makeup stuff. And that's her other job. Right. Uh -huh. So right now you're using the, what's it called again? Beauty Blender. We're doing the Beauty Blender. I keep trying to say booty. <laughs> the Beauty Blender. And somebody over here said she doesn't use the Beauty Blender. She uses um, her fingers. Oh, so let's talk about that. Uh, <laughs> fingers. Um, fingers is actually the, I personally have never used my fingers. But my cousin, who was also a makeup artist, used her fingers. And two of my cousins use their fingers. <laughs> but anyways, the point is that uh, fingers is actually 
like a natural beauty blender. If you think about it, uh, what you're doing with the beauty blender is applying it to your face and you're tapping it and it actually is warming up the product and pushing it into your skin. So you can actually do that with your fingers because your fingers are naturally warm and mm. push, like you can press it against your skin. And I have applied concealer with my fingers and you kind of just press it in. Um, so fingers is actually good. I mean, it's like a beauty blender. It's pretty much, the, it leaves the same effect as a beauty blender. It's just, I feel like this might be a little bit cleaner for me. I'm just kind of messy, so I don't try it. I've never really tried it with my fingers. Oh, okay. Well, wow. And then somebody over here said L'Oreal is an amazing cheap product. It <laughs> is, it is. Um, I've used a few, what is it? The Infallible, I've used that. Um, there's a lot of good drugstore products, don't get me wrong. Um, but anyways. But you did find some. Okay, cool. So did you, did, go ahead. I don't. I didn't want to. I don't want to do concealer. You know why? Because it's gonna look crazy if I don't like. Do, yeah, like it's gonna look weird. Face. Like because she's just gonna be highlighted in the under the eye, and then. Um, well, you could show them, and then when you finish my makeup afterwards, then I can post a picture and say, "This is what I look like later." Okay. I want me to get closer so they can see my face. Do you want to see? Do you want to talk anything about what you did to my face? Um, like closer. Do you guys want me to get closer? <laughs> I look kind of funny, right? Like, I need some lashes, I need some lip color, right? I'm transforming before your eyes. <laughs> it says, Arlene, what is the minimum you can do daily thing? I wear like zero makeup, but for a client calls, need a little more. Little more than her natural look. Okay, so what I think, um, if you don't, wear foundation and you don't if your skin good and you don't feel like you need to what i would do is uh to ump up your self like say you have a meeting or something i would do a little bit of blush that goes a long way um mascara and if you're bold you can do a lip or um bronzer and it'll make a difference like how about brows i feel like brows are important too i have full brows so i can go without putting um i think it is, so it depends on everybody everybody's face is different obviously mm -hmm. um i have a pretty full brow so if i don't put brows on i look fine mm -hmm. but then there's people that don't have a full brow and if they don't have brow then yes a brow a oh, mascara oh. and a blush or bronzer mm -hmm. one or the other like you could do both but if you don't have time and you just want something quick a blush will go so far like for me at least um sometimes i go work out and i feel like i look dead i will just throw some blush on and i feel alive like honestly right, it does. blush makes a difference and then if you have a meeting just some quick mascara and um either bronzer or a lip that's a good one that's what i do too like before i jump on sometimes not always before a video and i don't want to look totally like i got hit by a truck um i'll do just a little bronzer a little mascara and um you know what mf hat goes a long way you just put that hat on and you look cute <laughs> I know, I feel like you look crazy because you just have I know, you have look no at my eyebrows. eyebrows. Yeah, I have no eyebrows, but that's okay. That's a, does it say sunscreen, BB cream, or CC cream for every day? She wants to know. And uh, then we have another question over here, too. For every day, you should be wearing sunscreen. Uh, I'm Hispanic, and I've never worn sunscreen in my life. But uh, I hear that it's really, you're, <laughs> you're supposed to wear it every day on your face. Um, I don't, but another thing, another reason why I don't wear sunscreen on my face um because uh, sunscreen gives a flashback. So if you're gonna take selfies that day or you're gonna be photographed that day, that's when you get that white hues that like, you see your, someone takes a picture and you look all white and you're like, what the heck, why do I look like that? It's the products inside the sunscreen. Oh, so I don't want flashbacks. just saying if you're gonna <laughs> put sunscreen on, make it on a day that you're not gonna be taking photos. She said not a question. She's saying you have to wear sunscreen. <laughs> and then Arlene just says I don't wear sunscreen. <laughs> you, I mean, you, you, you're you supposed to wear sunscreen every day. But like I said, if you're gonna be taking selfies or taking pictures in a group, just be prepared for that. There you go. And some of your wet lotions that you wear may have sunscreen in them already. Right. Some um, moisturizers. And, yeah, and some foundations do too, I yeah. think. Yeah. And then there was a question over here, Evie. It says, do you use foundation on the lids? So did you put foundation on the lids? I don't. No. Um, when I do an application, I, I, when I do my, for myself, I do sometimes, I kind of just like run the brush through there um, if I'm not going to wear eyeshadow. If I am going to wear eyeshadow, I use an eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer, but if I'm not, I'll like just, um, no, no, it's not it. Okay. Just kidding. Uh, I'll just run my brush through there as I'm applying, so. 
Because if not, it's a it's it's usually a little bit of a different color than your foundation. Then, would be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I okay. didn't put um, any on your lids, and if yeah. you get close to the camera, okay, it's really not close. really that much of a difference. So here's my lids without foundation. I look kind of white right now. Not white, but just like. But she's not done. Yeah, I'm not done. Don't worry. We're good. The skin application. Skin application. So do you want me to get closer and you can do the concealer? Sure. Um, I'm actually going to mix two colors. I'm also using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, do I look sexy right now? Yes. <laughs> We're doing makeup, Ivan. What's up? Hello, Pineapple Village and Afro. I don't know, but Afro, what's up? <laughs> I think Instagram's so funny because Instagram, everybody has like crazy. Neil Kohler in the house. We're doing makeup right now. Come on over. I've got awesome Arlene talking about skincare. All right. And we've got Tanya in the house. I can't see over here. I need to watch this when my kids go to bed. Yes, Colleen. What's up, girl? So okay. when you apply concealer, um, where, I'm gonna, where you want to apply, usually what people do is where you have like, the under eyes. Mary doesn't really have much of an under eye, but we want to brighten up her face. So we're going to apply concealer here and then here to bring out her cheekbones. Here, here, and then... Um, you don't want to do too much under here, though. I was listening, right? Because like when you get older, um, then it kind of brings out the, the fine lines and we want to leave those alone. <laughs> right? Yeah. So we're going to brighten me. Look at me. Look like I'm ready for tribal. Who wants to join my tribe? The tribe, the MFF tribe. Let's go. You can take our gym, but you can't take our workouts. Right? Right, team? We found a way in the garage. We traveled from faraway lands. Look at this. Ooh, look at all these things she's doing. Can we do an MF at the top of my forehead? <laughs> hey. So uh, let me uh, explain why I put what I put where. Um, so I put the concealer, like I said, on the inner corner to brighten up her eye and then on the outer to pull her, um, to brighten up and pull her like face up. Um, and then on the nose is always to have like a little bit of a con natural contour. Um, <laughs> Usually what we want to do is like pull the face forward. So we're always going to put it on the like points that are going to protrude. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. see how like it's going to, it's going to bring out my chin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that I have a sexy chin. What do you guys think? <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the beauty blender <laughs> and just blend this out. And it's hard for me to do it. Um, not for it's not hard for me, but like I'm not usually videotaping myself. Like oh, you don't usually makeup. do videotapes, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm usually like all up in yes. your face, you know. So it's it's a little different to do it this way. Um, Can we all give her some hearts? Cause she's a rock star. She's so talented, you guys. I feel like I was just so blessed to have Arlene here and in my home and helping mm -hmm. and doing everything around here. She's amazing. And she knows how to do makeup. <laughs> At first I was shy. I was like, oh, you do makeup. Oh, okay. And then I was like, she's like, you know, I can do your makeup anytime. And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, do you want me to do your hair? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I don't know how to live without Arlene now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, Arlene, I got to dry my hair. <laughs> Oh, she told me to stop um, making lines. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you always hint at it, but I'm like, you could just tell me I'll do it. I don't mind doing it. I'd actually rather do that than be on the computer. I know. So we're just going to do this all the time. Listen, people, we're changing things around Look here. <laughs> MFF's always going to wear red lipstick. <laughs> we have more questions popping up. We will get to these questions, we promise. So don't leave. Stay with us till the end. You want to look, I'm going to grab a brush that I need. Yes, I'll read these questions. What's up, beauty please, and daily workout? We've got some questions over here. Mary, you know my MF hats are my go thing. Yes, Alicia, put those on anytime. I need to watch this when my kids go to bed. What are Mary's undertones? Annette wants to know. And does Arlene do private events like birdies? Oh, brides? <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh, like brides and stuff. Yeah, she does. 
Yeah, Glam Squad. Yeah, Arlene will tell you more about that. <coughs> We're starting awesome Arlene's. <coughs> I don't know, adventures. <laughs> you look closer. You can okay. closer. Okay, so what are you doing right now? I'm using this brush. Um, Cause she, you had to like, I couldn't get that little corner with the sponge. So I don't have another brush that I really wanted to use, but I had this one and this is like a little bit of a, has this like uh, oh, a, show stippling, them too. a stippling effect. And mm -hmm. then um, I actually, I wish I usually use a smaller one, which <coughs> I probably should have used, but I couldn't find. Um, oh, this is the one I was looking for. Um, this is the one I usually use. Um, and then they and this is, over here, so. this is from Mac. Okay. It's the best little um, concealer brush. It's to get all the little fine lines under here and like buff them out. Oh, oh! Look, she can buff out your fine lines. They're gone forever. I mean, the because makeup gets in between the lines, so you want to buff them out before you set the. Sorry, she's my assistant. <laughs> she can't buff out your lines <laughs> before you set the makeup. And um, I feel like you can't really like. See the full effect because your whole face is not done. Right. But we're gonna put, Do you want me to get closer? Um, but we're going to put a picture up when we're all done. Yeah, she's going to finish the rest of my makeup. But I saw it. Somebody wanted to know what my undertones were. But I'm going to get closer to the camera so you can see. And, I mean, it looks good because I'm coming up to the camera. And it really matches my skin. Um, I know the rest of me isn't done up. But um, I feel like, you know, it looks good. It feels nice. And it doesn't feel all cakey. Do you guys have some questions? What are my undertones? Um, you kind of have like a red and a warm undertone. Um, most of us, what we have is like either neutral, warm, or cool. I'm warm. I have a lot of yellow and um, yellow in my skin. Mm -hmm. And I've got some red. And you have red. Yeah. Like fire red. That's why I'm always hot. I'm always hot. Got to open the doors. <laughs> Any, more questions? Any more questions? What does it say? MFF Glam Squad, I love that. Any questions over here? Bailey, Bailey loves makeup. Um, do you guys have any more questions for Arlene? So today was basically the skincare, kind of foundation, concealer. Um, but we're gonna do more on the upcoming weeks. And um, if anybody, I can do anybody, like if you wanna have guests. That yeah, wanna if somebody wants to come on a Wednesday, raise your hand. You just have to be here at like, you know, probably 340, um, and she's going to go ahead and do you up, and we'll do the, the, um, if you want to be on the live, yeah, if you want to be on the live, and it doesn't have to just be me, did you say Mars or Nars? Nars. Perfect. Nars with an N, and Arlene, you are so talented. She is, you guys. It does look good, right? And, and, you know, um, I'm not 20 anymore. I'm 24 now, so things <laughs> have changed. Why are you laughing at me? Well, they're 24, just kidding. And I'm 21. You're, you're 21, baby. So, you know, like sometimes it can feel a little bit like you're not sure when you put the makeup on because I smile my whole life. So I have those happy smile lines. But I really feel like this makeup feels good. I feel pretty when I go on camera and I make videos. Um, she does an amazing job. So, and she's um, going to look better when she's done. Yeah, she keeps telling you that so you know. <laughs> We're gonna take. She's gonna post a selfie. Yes, I'm gonna post a selfie after this, and um, and then also if you guys have more questions, you know you can follow Arlene. She is um on Instagram, Cheek Pincher. Or Arlene Pino. Or Arlene. Oh, is that the one that you use? You tell That's me. my makeup. You tell me. I have my makeup pictures. I don't post a lot on that one just because I don't know. I'm self conscious about my work, and I want it to always be perfect. Um, if I post something, it's like I want it to be extra perfect. I usually only post professional pictures. Uh, but anyways, I have my makeup page is Arlene underscore Pineda underscore. Okay. And then my personal page, if you want to keep up with my life, yeah. it's Cheek Pincher. <laughs> Cheek Pincher. And also, she, um, you know, she does, you do private events? Yeah. You do brides? Brides. I Birthdays? Do, yeah, photo shoots. <gasps> Ooh, photo shoots. Um, Super Anything, really. Ooh, she's going to do my photo shoots. So, you know, reach out to her. And if you can't find her, reach out to me and I'll send you right along. She's one of my friends on Instagram and Facebook too, so you can find her there. And um, do you have any more questions? Says, I live so far away. Brittany, let's just fly you in. You did a video, let's do it. <laughs> Looks beautiful, Arlene. You clean up good, she sure does, oh, right? Because nobody has really seen me with makeup on. I'm usually like, yeah, like in doing the workout class in the morning when I'm like, <laughs> no makeup and 
Looking really ratchet. Right? Doesn't she look pretty with the red lipstick? She got me into the red lipstick thing. What do you set under the eye? Where, is that my phone right there? No. Okay. Good. Sorry, oh, everybody. We're still here. Still here. So I actually love, love, love this um, this powder to set under the eye. She's going to show you a powder to set under the eyes. And while we talk about that, we're going to talk about, let's talk about working out, yeah? <laughs> Don't forget to come to my channel, MaryPultonFit.VHX.TV. Use the code MFFLUCK because it's a great month. You guys, we have a lot of fun things planned at MFF. We've got our fun, um, exciting mashup on March 17th, which will be the anniversary of my first Facebook live workout that I did during COVID. And uh, so we don't want you to miss out. So come to the channel and join us for free. So this um, is what I use under the eye. It's a Laura Mercier... Laura, Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder. It's Ooh. not the regular powder that everybody uses, that everybody knows about. Um, yes. The one that's, the other the one is like, a loose powder. I think yeah. like this. This one, everybody talks about that one. Yeah. This is for the face, but I wouldn't use it under the eye. Um, this is the one for under the eye. Let me just apply it since I'm all, it's already out. You guys got her doing more. You want her to do lipstick now, huh? Yeah, you want to do my eyebrows, huh? <laughs> it's fun. So you have to come back next week. We can't give you everything on the first date. Right, Arlene? Right. She's she's not like that. <laughs> so what I how I apply it is I just get a brush. I dip it into the powder. I kind of press it into there so that it, it's holding the powder in. And then I look up. I press it into her skin. And I roll it sometimes. And it's a brightening powder, so it has like a little bit of a glow. And it's not gonna look cakey because it's really fine. And usually I'll set um, all the places that I highlighted with this powder. And sometimes I don't even really set that much of Mary's face because um, you don't want it to crease or crack with looking too dry mm -hmm. so um what i'll usually do is use this powder like on the spots that i um highlighted with the concealer and then i'll set the nose so this way it'll have like a natural contour from the foundation because this is going to brighten it up i let that sit there let that bake while i apply the rest of the makeup oh interesting do you guys set things on your nose and let it bake <laughs> I like it. Very fun. So see, I'll zoom in so you can see yeah, here, this lighting. Real quick. Real quick. So usually what I do is let this sit here the whole time. And then when I dust it off, it gives you that little snatch nose. Ooh, at the end. Ooh, cool. Very fun. And then Annette says that powder works miracles. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Well, we are so happy you guys joined us tonight. Let's give her some love and a round of applause for Arlene. Thank you, guys. Make sure you follow her, Cheek Pincher, Arlene Pineda. Pineda. I keep messing up her last name. I want to call her Pineda. Everyone Pineda. wants to make the end the end, but yeah, it's, it's not. Pineda. Pineda. Or if you want to say it in English, Pineda. Pineda. I never say it like No, that. that's terrible. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> Yay! Well, we love you guys so much. Any last questions before we go? Uh, we are here for you guys next week. Tune in for this. And then tomorrow, please tune in because I'm featuring women this month and small businesses. We have Kelsey Bloom with us tomorrow featuring Arbonne. And so come and check out all her amazing products she's going to share with us at 4 p.m. So set your timer. We will be on time. I'm working on being on time. Sometimes my life gets crazy, but we were, we were like five minutes late today. <laughs> we were better. <laughs> so you guys thank you so much love you guys have an amazing day thank you stronger together mind body and soul see you soon bye